Grace and welcome to my channel and welcome to the try it out video for the month of April. So um, I save some scrapbook magazines and I mostly save the ones that I was published in a long, long time ago. That was kind of my niche when it came to the industry was that I was getting published and I was very grateful for that moment in time, but you know, that's that. But I did save the the magazines that I was, or the books, magazines, whatever it was, that I was published in. And um, the other day, I was kind of cleaning that bookshelf, and I just wanted to kind of, I don't know, browse around the magazine to kind of get some ideas. And I came across this magazine from Creative Keepsake. This was published... Um, um, 2013 and it's mixed media scrapbooking volume 2 um, this is the layout that I was that I was fortunate enough to be or that was added in here this is my layout right here and this is my daughter um, this is actually a dress that I created for her or I sewn for her anyway so that is my layout there but I was going through it and I am not a big, a big mixed media person that's just not something that I do with my layouts I've dabbled in it but I'm not very good at it but when I was going through it I found this one technique um, this one is really pretty and what she did was she used some gelatos and then modeling paste and then stencil and I have all of that I don't even have to buy the supplies and so I'm gonna try to kind of make something like this so I'm gonna use this these are all my gelatos I, like I told you I don't have a lot of them and I actually didn't I didn't buy these um, they were gifted to me um, as part of you know being um, published so there's this one publication where instead of giving you monetary payment they give you products so at that time in my scrapbooking that was really a good incentive because I was collecting stuff but anyways so I have these colors and I probably use maybe these two just because they're they're more colorful but anyway so I'm gonna use that and then this is my container of stencils and um, I got this plastic container from where did I get this um, I'm trying to think Daiso. Um, it's a Japanese store in, well, the ones I go to is in California. But anyways, here are my stencils, and let's see. Um, she used kind of a, a good floral stencil. I don't know if I will have something like that here, but I'm going to go through this and kind of see which ones will be good. Um, oh, I, you know what? I think I have... No, I don't. I, think I, I thought I had like a Heidi Swap floral stamp. But anyways, I'm going to go through this and see which ones would... Oh, there it is. Right here. But where is the... Right here. This is what I was talking about. I think I'm going to use this one. And... I'm going to move this. So I'm going to use this. And because she kind of used... Oh, look at that. I have things here. <laughs> I didn't even remember. Oh, look at that. Oh, this one's pretty. Why do I not use this? Anyways, um, so I'm going to use some watercolor paper because I don't ever use it. And then I'm going to use this. I do have modeling paste. So I'm going to kind of play around with this and see how it turns out. I'm sure this is going to be a fairly quick um, try it out Tuesday just because it's pretty easy. Like the steps are not too complicated. Um, but I think I'm going to have, I'm going to need time to, you know, let that gelato dry. Um when I smear it on the on the paper but now my question is like what am I going to use it for I'll probably make a card yeah or maybe a layout I don't know we'll see but anyways that is kind of my plan and um, it will probably be voice over from here on out but I will talk you through my experience and um, I hope that you will try this out as well and I'll catch you guys um, in the next part of this video all right, so now that we are back and we are into the process, so I'm picking out a new sheet of that watercolor paper and I'm just smearing this red on there. Just There's no rhyme or reason. I'm smearing it and I am using a my um, water brush here, the brush that has already, like there's 
a barrel that you can put water in. And again, I have had this for a long time. This I got this when, you know, mixed media was during its heyday where everybody was buying things that are mixed media and I'm one of those that realized that, yeah, that's just not for me. <laughs> but um, I've just kept them all um, in my stash. So I didn't even have to go to the store and get anything new. But I am just making sure that I have a, a, a big enough room for my stencil to go through. But you know what? Um, now that I think about it, I should have just made that piece smaller than my stencil i think that would have looked better if you you could still see the white uh, on the edges of the um, paper but then again maybe my uh, modeling paste because it is white won't really make a difference but i'm gonna have to try that with just like just a little piece of the paper sh having the uh, gelato on there so i'm just I'm, I'm actually just playing here i'm trying to see if i like combine colors that it will work but um you just you just see very little hints of that green in there and i was kind of brushing off my um, brush onto the side so i don't mix the colors together so after i'm done with the pink I would kind of brush it off to the side before I um, I do the the green part and I think I added a little bit of gold in there too but you don't really see it very much and I stopped using the gold because it just makes it you know like there's some colors that when you mix it just <laughs> makes it look like poop <laughs> and um, this one was kind of like going in that direction so I stopped it and then um, I was kind of a little bit impatient and so i did use my heat gun to heat it all up and then i put in my so that it will dry and then i put in my stencil i did tack that in there to secure with just a little bit of washi and then now i'm going with my modeling paste so modeling paste is a uh, thick and so it will give you a raised image which i really like and this particular one is white so you can see the image right there and i really do think that this this technique is really good for the negative space of a stencil like as you can see me using here now because it's a negative space and it is a stencil it's a little bit flimsy so when i was scraping it off on the bird it actually got into that crevice with the like the bottom of the bird and i'm trying to figure out how to lift it up so i can get rid of the modeling paste that got stuck in there but um i will just kind of i didn't want to ruin it any more than i already did yes i am not kind of scrapper that i like well i don't want to say i like perfection but i like things like i don't like too much imperfection on my layout and or on my my crafting and my projects and so that is really bothering me but um i don't want to make it worse uh, by pulling it out at this moment and so i will deal with that later but now i'm just smearing it i am putting the modeling paste onto my spatula again i've had that spatula because um during the heyday of mixed media i was buying all sorts of tools for it because that's what i'm seeing everybody using and um now i don't rarely use it but i do like having that in my stash so i am putting that but as you can see um, i pull that out and i have that piece and i'm sorry that my lighting is awful i think um, because i have i have my camera on auto that it's grabbing the like it's just trying to grab the colors that it sees and so um, because there's a lot of white on that paper and it's trying to overexpose the the film but anyways um i was trying to use my paper towel and i was trying to scrape off that piece for under the belly of the bird and um, it worked for a little bit but i again i didn't want to kind of do it too much because it will mess it up now i realized when i was done uh, pushing the modeling paste into the stencil that I had a few more modeling paste left on my spatula and I decided that you know what I didn't want to waste it and I can't really put that back into the tube and so I pulled out another piece of just this is just 
scrap of paper and I did it with this one. Now, of course, this one turned out better because the background was more solid um, it didn't have any kind of mixed media on there and then i this is my second run so i kind of knew what i was doing so this piece was so much better but um, i'm i don't end up doing anything with this i just let that dry and it's it right now it's still sitting on my desk for future use so honestly i don't know what i'm going to do with this but you know i'm just going to leave it like that again i apologize for the quality of this specific um film it's there's so much white in there and um my my film or my camera is it's um i put it where the focus autofocus is in the center and because of all the white from that modeling paste um, it is grabbing <laughs> grabbing all that white but as you can see you can see the um, the piece a lot better so what I ended up doing is I created a layout with the pink piece and I just cut that in a block and I put that on the top left and then um, I just so happened that I had photos of birds from a trip to the zoo that we did and so I specifically added them to the right side and that's what I documented so that is my layout if you have any questions make sure that you leave it in the comment section below and I do encourage you to try out this particular um, technique and let me know how you liked it how you don't like it honestly for me yeah mixed media is just not me um, but I do like the idea of playing once in a while so um I hope that you guys like this video. Please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.